And, you know, Willie, we've got some great segments ahead and, um, and must-reads about, first of all, the tax issue and whether it really uh, hurts the economy to deal with this a little bit and get what the Democrats want on this. I don't think it does. Yeah, I want I Pat to explain to me, I, mm -hmm. I never quite understand why, if we close some of these loopholes, if we start taxing people, I don't even say over 250, over 500,000 and raise mm -hmm. close to $500 billion, uh, some of these corporate tax rates, the hedge fund tax rates, I still don't understand why other than putting money in the coffers, that hurts the economy. I, I, you know, I went to the Wharton mm -hmm. Business School, I ran a business for years, I still right. can't put that math together. Well, the, the increase in tax, tax revenue takes money out of the productive economy and gives it to the government, which is the problem right now. But let me say well, in response wait, no, to what explain, No, 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 that, that's the, you just gloss over that. Whereas, once again, I, everybody I know who, is, than ever, who Pat. spends Look. over a million dollars a year, let's say somebody's making a million dollars a year, and they right. are taxed an extra 3%, they're taxed an extra $30,000 of right. disposable income. Why is that, other than putting money Money in the economy, and and to Harold's point, even the score a little bit. If we're going to start to give entitlements, why does that slow down the economy? Well, wouldn't you say you take it from private citizens and private corporations and give it to government? Therefore, things are going to get better. That Republicans believe is a problem. Let me talk to Harold's point. I think the Republicans will go along with a reduction in rates and giving up certain deductions, exemptions, Getting et cetera. People that's, that's Reaganomics. That's 28 percent. You recall that, Harold? He took it down to 28 percent. But I'll tell you why this isn't going to happen. Republicans can't go home again if they raise taxes on net. But I don't think Secondly, they can go you got they a one raise the debt ceiling either. What, you got, America what, can't pay its debt. But, Harold, here's what they're going to do. They're going to raise the debt ceiling. They'll raise it once or twice and put on Biden cuts and send them to the Senate. The Democratic Senate will have to reject him, or Obama will reject him. Then they'll send him again with a shorter debt ceiling, with more with cuts. And if they reject it, they're responsible when the country goes down. I don't think there's any doubt that, that that scenario could play out. But for John Cornyn, who six weeks ago, even two weeks ago, right. was not suggesting he was open to an idea of some revenue mm -hmm. raises, I think it's an important step. If indeed He's you're talking right, about what I'm talking about. I, Pat, you can call it, we can call it Reaganomics, we can even call it Buchananomics, but as long as we raise the debt ceiling and we do it in a responsible way and Republicans are open to the idea of revenue increases as a part of balancing our long-term budget, then Obama and but, Democrats sure. have prevailed. Well, and more importantly, but what they're saying is not work. revenue increases they're saying reduce the rates and eliminate deductions and zero revenue increase. That's okay. what the Republicans are going a, for. But that is a revenue raiser because a lot of Republicans say if you spread out the number of people, a lot of Democrats, including myself and I think uh, uh, Jim Cramer as well, have said this. If you spread out the number of people, extend the number of people, expand the number of people paying taxes, you can lower the rates. I All think right. one thing I would love to hear your point on is do you think that the rate that hedge fund managers play, pay, which is a capital gains rate, should they pay capital gains rate or regular income rates on I, the money they I make? I believe this. If you're turning over stocks daily, whipping them over, that's gambling. That's Las Vegas. You pay Las Vegas rates. And that's what hedge funds guys do, by the way. But I will hold it. But, but I do not, believe in long-term capital business. gains and long-term investments and things like that. But one problem, Harold, nobody addresses. 51% of American wage earners pay zero income tax. A lot of them get these earned income tax credit checks. You can't take half the country, drop them off the tax rolls, they, and say, look, the hedge funds are going to make all, they all they all pay Social Security you just, and Medicare I just want you to answer Every American of, worker pays. I, I want you to answer one of, one of Harold's questions. Yes, sir. Hedge fund managers who, by the way, have hey, can put money overseas and don't have to pay any taxes. All my friends run hedge funds. These guys make tens of millions of dollars a year. They pay a substantially lower tax rate than anybody. Do you think that should change? Yes I or think, no? I think I think that short-term capital gains... Just ask that one question. But look, I mean, okay. whatever they're doing over there, look, if some, a hedge fund guy invests in something for a long term, and it's an investing in the country, and it's a long-term capital gains, pay capital gains rates like you guys do down on Wall Street. But, but if it's short-term... I think they're investing in the country. They have a full country. exemption as far as with money they invest overseas. Overseas yeah. well, funds, then they, they when put they their money that way, they basically, after 10 or 12 right. or 13 years, get it back you, with paying zero hold taxes. Hold it. No, no, they don't pay zero. That's why they're trying to repatriate all these funds. I would cut it to 5% to get all that money back into the country. Of course I would. All right. Cut it to 10. Back to Washington. Cut it to 20. We got Harold with me on this one. I'm not sure that's true. We have some great must-reads on this. The, 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 the hedge fund managers pay 15. They pay the capital gains rate versus the ordinary income rate. But people earn their money the I, same I, way. And that's the only question being asked. I don't agree when you with... you look it up, I want you to answer that question because you're, you're conflating two issues. And I don't agree with a lower rate 
If it's short-term capital gains, if it's long-term, I believe yes. Do you think Republicans could live with making all the Bush tax cuts as it relates to middle-class earners permanent, making the dividends and capital gains rate permanent, but raising the rates on the top earners and changing the rates perhaps on uh, hedge to, fund managers? Go back to the Clinton 39.6. On just the top and change that number from 250 to 400, like Jim Cramer suggested. So 400 for an individual, 800 for a couple. No. Is that something that the Republican uh, Party no, today and the Tea Party do it for the reason with? that they know you guys would get it at 400 and it would start walking back down to no, no, but, 200, but, but, which is where you want to go? We can't, we can't have it both. I don't want it to. I want it to. I but think it ought to go to a half a million individual, a million couple. But say we made it 400 and 800, which that that is on the table with some of the discussion around and the Biden plan. Why would you do that when you can win this battle? I mean, it's a poker game. Excuse me. It is. It's a poker game. You don't say, hey, let's split the pot, um, Willie. We speak up to cars. Again, we spoke, got the cars. I, got, I hope Obama was listening to Clinton over the weekend. He spoke in Aspen. He said, do not blink. Do not he blink. He told did. who not to blink? He told Aspen. I Obama, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pat yeah. McKenna, you talked about blink. this being a poker game. It's a poker game with people's lives. I'm going to read a must read that mm -hmm. I, I think would make some cringe, but I think it's a really good point. It's by Paul Krugman, and he says this. Over the last two years, profits have soared, while unemployment, just listen, All right. has remained disastrously, dis de disastrously high. Why should any Anyone believe that handing even more money to corporations, no strings attached, would lead to faster job creation. Nonetheless, trickle down is clearly on the ascendant, and even some Democrats are buying into it. What am I talking about? Consider first the arguments Republicans are using to defend outrageous tax loopholes. How can people simultaneously demand savage cuts in Medicare and Medicaid mm -hmm. and defend special tax breaks favoring hedge fund managers and owners of corporate jets? Mm -hmm. Come on. Well, look, Come on, for, let's take the corporate Jets. That's one of America. You know what our number one export is? What? Aircraft and space. We sell these things abroad. We make the best planes in the world. But you get them with higher taxes, you're going to hurt the business. The business will start to move abroad as all our other businesses have. This is, excuse me, the same liberal demagoguery that got but us into this mess. Really? Pat, you, you have to admit one thing, and obviously it's not going to solve the problem. We're talking about $3 billion a year for the corporate jet tax loophole. You can't, in good conscience, what? look me in the... Let, stop it as far as we're importing. These are corporate jets. These are guys, flyer. You're telling me look, just by closing, mm -hmm. even emotionally, that it's right. the right thing to do. Right, let me Isn't tell there you some a story. concept in that can the little you? guy is giving, the big guy can gives I a little bit, in the most simplistic the little guy? human right, what is right? All right, let me tell you about the little guy. I went down to Georgia during the luxury tax. They had Baywater boats. They made 100 boats a year, That's these a great big beautiful yachts. They're you know, gigantic things. I would never own one, could never afford one. They're all working class guys from Georgia building these things. They put the luxury tax on. They're building one a month, 80 a year. All these guys are out of jobs. They move the production to Mexico. They move it out of the... This is the a global economy. So the, so, the, so the corporate jets are helping Who the little guys. Who do you think guys? builds the... The, the corporate nobody, jets. Nobody's saying that they shouldn't have them. Why should they get tax a, breaks a on them? <laughs> why? And, and by the way, what these is it's can a you, can, can I just you understand uh, how business works? Ask you, can I, yeah, I do understand how business. Right? Can I ask you a basic sure. human tenant? Right. Do you think conceptually? Forget that you're Republican for a second. Forget that he's a Democrat. Forget mm. that I'm a Democrat. Conceptually, forget even looking at the right. numbers. That maybe everybody should give a little bit. That maybe if we're asking and we know we need to make a move on entitlements, that maybe hedge fund managers, maybe corporations, well, look, maybe the richest making a million dollars okay, a year. Should it, is there a it just conceptually? Right. Just conceptually. Just forget that Reaganomics. Forget Keynesian. You know forget anything. Right. Doesn't that make sense? Yeah, it does. Let me tell you something. I'm a small business guy. I'm self-employed. Of my first 50 grand I make, I send 56% of it straight to the government initially before you pay property taxes, sales taxes, gasoline taxes, and then you're telling me half the country pays zero taxes. You got a government that's spending 25% of GDP, add state, it's 40%. You got socialism here, and this is what is bringing down. Western First civilization. Of all, let's be clear. 51% of the people do not pay zero tax. They pay yeah. a payroll tax like you and I do. They pay the same gasoline and property tax that you right. talk about. No income so, tax. But right. But if you want to trade with them, if you want to make what they make and they make with you make, I'm sure they take that trade any day of the week. They make what you. I don't. I don't know what you make a but year, but I know you make a lot. You more want than half the country to be freeloading? But no, they're not freeloading, Pat. They're paying payroll taxes just like you and I do. For Why the don't they pay Security. income tax? Five percent. 
Pat, I don't have a problem with doing it, okay. but as long as you make those bill and those corporate jets, and as long as you make Look, those hedge fund managers pay their fair share before you go asking where, them to pay any more. Harold, let pay. me ask you if, what? you make, if you make what they make, Pat, and you pay the share of income toward taxes that they pay, I promise you, you'd be right. far more upset than you are today sitting Look, they don't, making what you make and Okay, let me tell you, ahead, they don't got a 747 corporate jet like Barack Obama and Michelle <laughs> Obama. <laughs> they got a whole fleet of them. I've been on those planes. <laughs> are you they got a whole fleet the of these small... The United States should not have a, a, a 747, 747 to fly to Philly? The commander of the... Oh, come on, Pat. The, the leader look, of the free you're world, talking. the commander of our United States. Are you, it, are what you I'm saying, What I'm saying here is, look, a corporate jet enables these guys to fly around Europe and do business a lot better. You want to take them all down to props? Fine, but it is silly because this is one of America's foremost businesses. I don't fly on them. Our buddy Mort Zuckerman does. Okay. I don't fly on them. Those people not paying taxes, that 51%, I guarantee you, they will trade with anybody flying around. I want to go around the table before we Europe go to a break. Today. Yes or no? Given the fact of what the headline we heard this morning about what the White House is preparing to do to give a little bit here, should the Republicans give a little bit? I would assume yes. Yes. Should they give a little bit on the tax issue? They should keep their commitment to the American people. Oh, Lord. Pat, by the way, Pat needs to run for office again, all right? Up this next. guy, you can't get him. You can't get him. But he represents, this is good. I mean, you're a little outnumbered today, Pat, with Joe being off. But what we're, right. We want to hear what you have to say because I'm still. I'll tell you the interesting thing. Though. Saturday night at Nobu when he's in East Hampton, <laughs> when he was trying to make his way with the kind of more liberal, younger female set, he was singing a very, very different tune. I bet they that's love all him. I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Rock star. You know, tax, tax, he took me tax increases for everybody. He was, he was the toast. He was the toast of South End. Good Lord. Up next, it's former amazing. President Bill Clinton offers his advice on the debt ceiling debate. It's one of the top stories.